Lots of volunteers are spending the summer fixing up a historic great camp in the Adirondacks. Our Jack LeDuc shows us how they're hoping to reopen it as a summer camp for kids. Recently, visitors and volunteers rode a shuttle boat to Eagle Island on Upper Saranac Lake, where they got a rousing greeting. We welcome you to Eagle Island. We're mighty glad you're here. The excursion was to raise awareness of Eagle Island. Some arrived out of curiosity, others to roll up their sleeves and put muscle into a century-old compound built by a U.S. vice president. Some repairs here are being done by volunteers. Some of this glass is 114 years old, so you've got to be careful with it. It's actually in surprisingly good shape. There are some, I mean, we need some roof work done. Uh, there are a couple of foundations that need to be re reworked. Uh, but in general, it's in a very remarkable shape. And part of the reason it, it was designated uh, National Historic Landmark is because very little was done to it. This means that little of the original architecture has changed over the years. The 13-building complex was designed by famed Adirondack architect William Cutler for Levi Martin, former U.S. Vice President and a New York Governor. Martin served under President Benjamin Harrison. In 1910, the camp was sold to Henry Graves, but sorrowful events followed the great camp purchase when two of his sons died. It's a rather sad story. He um, had two sons that he lost um, in 1921 and 22, and he had bought the island for his family and for them to have their families here. And all of a sudden, two, two sons were not going to be here with their families, and I think that was disheartening for him. And I guess the Girl Scouts in New Jersey needed uh, wanted a place to have a camp. So in 1937 he donated the camp and in 1938 they opened the camp and ran it to 2008. Plans call for a youth camp to be restored by 2019, giving youngsters a chance to return to the Adirondacks. The goal is to reopen this uh, Eagle Island camp as a youth summer camp again in much the same manner it was when it was a Girl Scout camp for 70 years uh, with focus on outdoors, uh, sailing, canoeing, hiking, Adirondack experience, living on platform tents, uh, living within this, this beautiful historic um, camp. McGovern said that campers will spend two week periods on Eagle Island absorbing what the six million acre Adirondack park has to offer. Our first cut is about two and a half million dollars to do all of the repairs that we want to do on the, the property, which involves a lot of roofs, we have foundation work, uh, we have a lot of infrastructure with our water and our sewer and also our electric that we're upgrading. A recent $500,000 grant to the Regional Economic Development Awards of New York State will be used in the camp's restorations. Officials say that as much as 40% of the work could be done with volunteers, like this mother and daughter. This way it'll turn back into a camp and more kids will be able to come and then they will be like, this is my island and they'll come back and help too. Will you? Well, I've enjoyed coming here the past couple of times we visited um, back when I was a kid and when I had the chance to come back and help fix it up to make sure other kids could also enjoy it. Definitely something I wanted to do. Bringing children closer to nature and understanding its fragile structure is their goal. As we go into the future, we want to bring it back um, so that we can offer environmental nature education here. I made a uh, self-guided nature trail guide um, for the trail and so on, um, at one o'clock I'll be leading a nature walk and then people can also use the guide to do a self-guided nature walk as well. The friends you make and the things you learn and the canoe trips and the mountain climbing um, and in a beautiful place like the Adirondacks, you can't beat it. McGovern said that with the world shrinking the need to open new doors by exploring nature creates curiosity and sharpens young minds. Uh, some kids have never never slept in a tent. They've never slept outside of a outside of a house. There's something about living in a tent and feeling the wind rushing through and hearing the loons all night. Um, 
it's just a, a diff different experience. The experience of Eagle Island is returning. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc on Eagle Island.